I'm now going to demonstrate the reporting capabilities of Microsoft Project 2013. So, first thing I'm going to do is open a schedule that I've open, uh, created earlier. So, I'm going to click on the open from the backstage. And I can see I've got this recent project here, London Olympics, 2012 London Olympics. That's what I'm going to use. That's going up to the project server actually, downloading that project for me. I'm actually going to check it out as well. So, I actually created a report in here using the reports within the new report ribbon, which is new to project 2013. And I report create a custom report. So if I look under the custom section, I see Olympic custom report. So I'm going to click on that. So you can see here I've created this report. I've given it a title. I've actually put some branding, the Olympic rings on there. I've got a couple of uh, tables and a chart as well. So I've actually got percent complete, percent work complete, the name finish percent complete. And I've got a chart setting the Olympic Village and the actual work, the remaining work, and the baseline work. So I'm going to show you how to actually create something very similar to this. Obviously, this was actually the first report I ever created, and it took me about an hour to do this, and that was to learn all the functionalities and things like that. So very easy to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the report ribbon, and I'm going to click New Report. And I'm actually going to go for a blank one, and I'm going to call it Demo Report. Okay. So I've got a blank report. You see it's very plain. You see how much uh, I've done on the other report. So I'm actually going to click in here. And I'm going to change the font. So if I actually click on the format, I can actually put some word art in here. So I'm going to give this burnt orange color. Perhaps I'm going to make the font size bigger. To do that, it's actually in the task ribbon. And I can change the font size from the task ribbon. So let's go for 24, maybe let's go for 28. Okay, I want to change the background color as well, so I can actually let's maybe go for green background. Kind of ugly, but you get the idea of how to, how to do that. So that'll do. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to insert a table. To do that, click on the report ribbon. Actually, on the design. Which is the report tools, which is part of, because we're in a report, when we click on the design, it's going to be the report tools. And I'm going to insert a table. So if I just click table, you can see straight away I've got a table. I can move that around, so put it up to the top left perhaps. And what do I want to display in my table? Well, I actually kind of like what's already there. Perhaps I want to add an additional column. So I want to put in there maybe actual work. So the first thing I'm going to do is roll up everything here so I can get organized. So you can see this is all the available things. So I've got work, number, flag, durations, dates, costs. So I'm probably going to find the actual work in the work section. So I'm going to expand work. And I'm going to select actual work. And I can see straight away that it's added on the end. Great. I'm happy with that. So you can see I could add as many or as few tables as I like. I can rearrange these things. I can remove sections. Say I didn't want to start. I could remove that as well and perhaps put something else in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at that. You can see how that works. You just click in the chart and then you can select from the field list. I'm now going to insert a chart. So in the insert section of the design ribbon, I can click chart. And this is very similar to the Excel chart. So you can see your previews here and Look at the different types. Oh, I'm going to go for this 3D column chart. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to rearrange it so I can get organized on the screen. So I'm going to bring it down here maybe and, and make it a little bit bigger on the screen. OK, now let's have a look at this chart, what's going on here. So I've got the various phases of the project. Perhaps I just want to see the Olympic Village as a project, so I want just the project level. So what I have to do is click in the chart, field list picker down the left hand side, down the right hand side, and I want to change the outline level to project summary, which is going to be just the project level. So now I can see 2012 London Olympics. I can see the actual work, the remaining work, and work. What I can't see is exactly how much work is there. 
So very similarly to Excel, we can actually add the data labels. To do that, right click, add data labels. We can actually just click on add data labels, and there it is there. I can rearrange that. Let's add the rest of them as well. The other bars. Yeah, and we'll rearrange that as well so you can see that. And let's do the actual work as well. And we'll rearrange that. Although I can't really see that on the screen very well. I don't like that. I think that's too small. So I'm actually going to change that font size. To do that, it's in the task ribbon again. And I'm going to make this one 16. See how that looks? Yep, not bad. Maybe make it bold as well. I could change the colors and whatnot, but I think I'm happy with that. So let's go for 16 again. And we'll make that bold again. And the same for the last one. 16 and bold. Okay, so we've got the basics. We can insert tables, we can insert charts into a dashboard. We can insert mul multiple options here. I also could brand it. Do you remember we had the Olympic rings in the Olympic Village report? Perhaps I want to brand this with our EPMA logo. Okay, let's try that. So, design ribbon, images, and look how convenient I found the EPMA logo. Insert that. There it is. I'm going to pull it up to the top left hand side of the screen. Click on it and we'll make it slightly bigger. Yeah, happy with that. Obviously, you can rearrange everything on the screen just to get it how we want it. I see I need to do some work on my color scheme here, but I'm fairly happy with that. So you can see within about, I think we've been here a few minutes, and I've created a chart, a table some branding and it's looking pretty good so that's the report section 